Hi everyone, it's Gabby. Welcome to my channel. Today it is going to be my eighth update to Panda's eyeshadows. Uh, this project was originally created by Alexi. You will find her down in the description box so you can go and check, that, check her out if you don't already know her. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing in, in this project is I'm penning four shades at a time because I have a lot in my um, Panda palette. I'm thinking about changing that next year, but for now it's going to be four. Um, and uh, yeah, I can roll them out when I hit the 30 mark uses or I, um, I hit 10 on them. <laughs> that is the final goal for this one. I have um, usage, not usage, I have a pen percentage goal for the year and that is the 10% of my eyeshadows that have pen in them. Of course, the pen percentage is going to include also eyeshadows that are not in this project. And um, yeah, let's just start with the update. And um, as always, I will start from the shade that has the less uses and move on to the one that has most use. And uh, yeah, let's just start with this. So first, I have my Kiko Magnetic Impact number one. And you will see what it was looking like last time. I already had a big dip, but this is what it's looking like right now. And I don't know if you can tell, but that in the middle is pan. That is very reflective. <laughs> You're not going to, to be able to tell that that is pan, but it is. Yes, maybe you can there. And uh, yeah, it is teeny tiny pan, but I've been using this one only, I think, as a um in a corner highlight so yeah i was not expecting expecting massive pan and um yeah happy i can roll this one out it was very close last month in fact i only needed two uses to reach the pan and um I had used this one 37 times last month. I have now used it 39 times, and uh, that is how much I needed to hit pan. And this one was basically brand new, so yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, moving on, I have my second eyeshadow that is by Revolution, it is the Emily Edit. The Wands palette, and this is the shade Belle Violet. I have finally departed the palette that was too big. And as uh, even though I had two shades in the palette, I could not reach because I have one in this project and one in another project. Um, I was not reaching for that, so I finally decided decided to depart the thing. <laughs> and but best decision ever, in fact. Um, sorry, this is what it's looking like. So you can see there is a tiny, tiny bit of usage on it, but I've only used this one four times and <laughs> two of them were since departing it. <laughs> so best decision ever, I think. Um, but yeah, this one was untouched probably. Um, yeah, this one got hard pen the first time I used it, so it was kind of difficult to um, move that out. I didn't want to scrape it because it was so new. I think it was because of the brush I was using, but... <clears throat> Sorry. This one, I don't know, it's pretty disappointing shade because it's not super refract reflective. You would expect it to be. I mean... If you watch it, it's not like the most metallic thing, but you know, it can catch the light. Um, on the eye, it doesn't do that. I do have it all over my lid. And you can barely tell. I have a shimmer on it. <laughs> so I will have to use this one wet. Maybe that way it will be a little better. I don't know. But yeah, um, I wrote this in last time, so I've only used this four times. There is a long way to go with this one. And then the third shade for usage is from the Colourpop Bye Bye Birdie. And it is the, sh ooh, the shade on a wing. It is uh, this one right here. 
as you can see this one is showing some progress <laughs> and this is a very sh soft shade and I've only used this one five times and uh, that's it because I rolled in pulled it in <laughs> last month but yeah it is not a huge dip but you can see I've used it so that's good and I've mainly used it as an Nikon highlight I do have it on today as well um I really like it really really like it this one was a super new palette when it was rolled in and um yeah I really like it yeah no complaints about this I will be using this one a little more this month the last month also had vacation time so I did not use makeup a whole lot and one of the weeks that I have been working I was working from my parents house so because I, I'm been working from home since March and never got back to the office so um, I was working from the, their place I not only brought with me single shades in my panda palette and some uh, well just one <laughs> that is the next shade that has more use uh, in this project so yeah that is why this one will definitely get more use because it's a beautiful shade but yeah, the last one, uh, um, I don't know if I mentioned, I used this one five times. I think once I used it all over the lid, but mainly as a corner highlight. Let me swatch it for you so that I already have the swatches done. And this one is so smooth. I really like it. There you go. It's a really, really nice shade. And it doesn't have a lot of base pigment when you put it in put it in your inner corners so it can kind of work with probably shades even though looking at it like that it doesn't really seem it would work very well with it but it does so that's nice but moving on my last shade in here is my shade by obsession and I don't remember the name of this one let me see if I can find it because I, this one is a depotable palette, it is a magnetic one where you can remove the shades and so I don't have the name on the back of it, where is that, it's called Thinker by the, oh no, from, from the, all we have is now palette by Obsession and you can see I've been using it but there is not really a dip, it's just disturbance on the side. This, this one was, I think I've used this one once before, but nothing more than that. So yeah, <clears throat> I've used this one 12 times this month and it was rolled in last month, so it's okay. I have it as a transition and it does blend well. <laughs> like, I don't, know, I don't mind browns with purple shades, so... You know, I, I think it kind of turns the purple down a little bit, so it makes it more wearable on a daily basis. So, yeah, I think I will be panning this look for the next month. <laughs> so, yeah, I will. Oh, and of course, if you want to pan shades, you can stab your fingers in there. <laughs> but yeah, okay, that's okay. Um. So yeah, that one I used 12 times and that was the last shade that I have in this rotation. So now it is time for me to roll in a new shade that will be the substitute for this one from Kiko that I have a pan on. And uh, yeah, so I will bring on my pretty random app and I already have my numbers one two three hundred sixty four and i will generate one so let's just do it and that is number 75 uh, i will go check what that one is and be right back number 75 comes from this palette by revolution this is the revolution pro actually um and it is the regeneration and entranced palette and the shade I ruled in is this one right here. It is called Begul, Begil, I don't know. This one, I don't know if you can read the name of the shade. I will probably 
put it up somewhere so that you can tell me <laughs> how to pronounce it because I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, it is a very nice um, golden shade, like pale gold shade. I really like it. I've already used it. Uh, this palette is not super, super used, but it has been used sometimes and this shade have already been used because there are just three shimmers in this palette so I <laughs> did dip into this one a little bit. I remember bringing this one with me on occasion sometime so yeah it did get used a little bit not too much in fact you can see some yeah some disturbance on the surface but nothing more than that so yeah this is my color story for this month and um, so this is the Belle Violet shade, this is the Colourpop shade, this is the Thinker Obsession um, shade and this is the new shade I rolled in that I, I would not call because I don't know how to say that. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're working with. I really like the new shade so I will not really draw it. I have the possibility, I have... Um, decided to be able to redraw one shade if I don't feel like I want to find it at the time so this one is really nice I like it and I think it can go fairly well with the rest of the shades I'm panning overall so <laughs> yeah that is pretty much all for this update thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy the video please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep in touch and I will see you in the next one bye